Hey guys, Zach here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Here today to do a review on the Morph Pro from Outright Hunting Products. Okay, so let's do a rundown real quick of what you're going to get with the Morph Pro bow hanger system. This is the complete system. So you're going to get three different hanger arms. Two of these arms are going to have a swivel connector on the end here. The third one is not going to have the swivel connector, but it's going to have a stud that comes out right here. Speaking of those studs, you're going to get four of these studs right here that go in the tree. You're also going to get the tool to get them started. This is a ratcheting tool and it goes both ways. You're also going to get this right here, which is the strap mount. You're going to get behind it, you're going to see this right here is a hanger that you can use in conjunction with your connectors at pretty much any point you're gonna get the quiver mount which is actually already on my quiver and last but not least you're gonna get the crow's foot which is a really cool addition to this thing so let's get it over in the tree and show you how this thing operates and show you how it gets uh, how it gets put together okay before we show you how this thing and actually let's show you how it hooks up this has a quick connect on here, which reminds me of a lot of an air hose connect. You push forward and that releases the bearings inside and it allows this stud to go in there. So if you push this forward, push it forward and just slide that in there and then let it loose, it's hooked up and it is connected. And then on these ones with the knuckle on here, you can adjust this out to whatever position you want. Now these are gonna be tight at first, do not untighten these, do not loosen these things up. These are set at the factory to a tightness that after you maneuver these around for a little bit, they'll actually loosen up. And uh, these have loosened up quite a bit. Holding it in my hand makes it a little harder to move. But once I get it to true, you'll see it's loosened up enough that it'll hold the weight of the, the bow and it'll hold in position where I want it to be. So let's get this thing hooked up into the tree. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to hook this thing up. You have your stud right here that has the lag bolt on the back of it, which is the one we're going to be using today. This is the one that's going to come with the kit. So that one will actually drill right into the tree using the tool and the and the arm to get it in there. The other one you have is the, the strap mount here, which you'll basically just run a strap through here, through the other side, strap this to the tree good and tight, and then you'll connect your stud or connect to that stud on there. Another one that's not does not come with this kit, but I think is really cool. You can actually buy uh, as an add-on separately. Is this one right here? And this stud is actually made to be put onto your tree stand or your ground blind or pretty much anywhere you want to. You just drill the appropriate size hole, screw this thing down, tighten up the nut, and you can connect it right there to your bow hanger. So you can use this in a multiple different uh, locations. Now on this hardware, this hardware is all coated. So it's not going to rust. This has all got a, a, a coating on there, so it's not going to rust. It also is available. You can buy additional packs of these from the store. So you can buy one kit and buy additional packs of these and have all your tree stands set up to use this Morph Pro. Same way with this. You can buy additional uh, ones of this, uh, this stud to put on there, and you can put them on all your tree stands, all your ground lines, uh, all your shooting houses, pretty much anywhere you want to. Just by going to the store and buying a addition, an additional pack of these stuff. So getting this thing started is really easy. Just take your uh, select your spot in the tree, hook your tool up, and make sure it is in the proper righty tighty, and basically just put that into the tree and give it a little push. Those are good sharp uh, studs on there, and they really do grip the tree really well. Just give it a little bit of pressure on there and it'll start biting the tree and working its way in. Now you're gonna to come to a point where this little deal here is not gonna be quite strong enough to do this. At that point you can use an impact, you can use an impact and slide right over the top of this, but if you want it to be quiet, you can actually take one of these right here and hook to it and just use it as a lever to tighten that thing down. So go ahead and work that in all the way to the tree until this base is all the way right up against the bark of the tree. And this also gives you another advantage. So say here, I want that thing really nice and tight. So that's about as tight as that thing's gonna go. So if this was a traditional bow hanger, what I'd have to do 
is I'd have to either keep tightening it or I'd have to loosen it up. Well, I don't want to do that. I want that thing as tight as it can be and I don't want to break it. I have broke bow hangers doing this before. With this more fro, all you got to do is disconnect that and turn it to the angle that you want. Now, make one minor little adjustment and you're ready to go. Okay, so as far as setting this thing up, there's an, a huge variety of ways that you can set this thing up. This one here it actually has a stud on it. Uh, on the side here that you can mount things to, it'll connect to this one, connect to the middle foot or middle piece. You also have the crow's foot on there, so you can connect this here. Connect your middle, and then you can connect your end just like that and set it up in a look traditional style. Uh, you can also set your crow's foot here on the side so you have your crow's foot where you can hang accessories uh calls quiver whatever from you also have the quiver mount on here so instead of the crow's foot you can take your quiver mount and put your quiver right there if you don't want this hanger on the end you can unhook that right there and actually put your crow's foot right there on the end so we're going to show you now what i did with this more pro during the testing system i had this thing in lot of different situations a lot of different setups I had two bows on the end of this thing at, at some point I had crossbows on this thing I had it turned up and had weight on it and I think you'll find through this footage that the Morph Pro did an outstanding job So as you saw there in the footage, this thing has huge capabilities as far as being adaptable, and I love that. It is easy to use, it is well designed, it's lightweight, it comes in a nice uh, package where everything is stored away and it's quiet. You don't, when you're, when you're moving it around and when it's in the package, you don't have, you have a lot of noise from, from metal hitting metal and things like that. It's got a good quality coating on here. It's got a really nice setup here as far as the, the quick connects. I think it's gonna work out fantastic in the tree and I love the versatility of the studs you can buy this you know comes with the with I believe four of these when you get it you can buy additional ones you can get you know additional packages of these so you can put them in all your tree stands if you don't have a tree there if you have a ground blind you can use the uh, the stud that I showed you earlier that you can actually just drill a hole you can use that you can also use the strap mount uh, put your quiver on here and I love the quiver mount on this thing I want to talk about that real quick I love the quiver mount on this thing uh, simply because sometimes you need to get to another arrow really quickly and not always because of a miss. Last year I actually shot a doe 
and when I shot that doe, literally watched her drop into the tracks, and when I turned to my right, there was a nice buck behind her. And I fumbled around trying to get a another arrow out of my quiver, which was just hanging by this hook right here uh, in the tree stand, and actually ended up messing up, and, and the buck got away. Now, it's my fault for shooting the doe first, but I, honestly, I looked and I looked and I looked, and I did not see that buck there. He was standing in tall grass, and if I would have had another arrow, I had him at 25 yards, uh, kind of angling away from me. So I like the fact that I can just reach over and grab another arrow just like that. So the way that this, this quiver system mounts up, I really, really like the versatility of that. I love, I do hunt with my quiver on, I hang my quiver up, I love the way that this thing, I can literally reach over there and grab an arrow that quick and that easy and that quietly. So it's a, a versatile system, it's a well thought out system. And the initial expense of this thing, you know, when you think about the, I've got bow hangers from other companies that were $50, $60, and i got to carry those around with me from tree to tree to tree and put them in every time I get to the tree and screw them into the tree every time I get there or carry strap systems and stuff like that. And, you know, they're, they're 40 50 bucks. So with this one, I buy the init with the initial investment. I get enough stuff to do four tree stands, and if I use a strap mount, I can actually just take it to whatever mount or tree stand that I want to and use the strap mount. But with the additional purchase of which they're pretty cheap these studs I can actually have those studs in every tree stand and when I get there I don't have to worry about screwing that tree or the, the morph pro in I literally just connect open this thing up connect it and I'm good to go so really really quality product here from uh, outright hunting products fantastic design well thought out and just works works like a champ and that's what I love about it simple effective and works and it's very very versatile so check this out we'll put a link in the description below so you can go check it out and uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share these videos. And please be sure to follow us on social media under Ike's Outdoors. Appreciate you guys watching.